All right, I'm just heading back to my car, trying to navigate through this water still high, but it's not horrible. But uh, I found some stuff today. One pretty nice point and um, some tools and stuff. And my battery's low. I didn't film the last few things I did. I wanted to do like an intro, but uh, I did all right today. Not the best conditions. You can see I'm usually walking on beach here but it's almost over my boots in places like right back here when i turned this on um but i made it without getting wet and i'm whipped um i'll get out in the next couple days and melt detect or do something cool try to find some more stuff there'll probably be one melt detecting clip on here i found a pretty nice wheat scent like 1940 or something i don't know i might show it on here but hope you enjoy the video thanks for watching um, I'm gonna get home. I got other work to do. Can't look no more today. So this will be it. Later. All right, I'm out hunting. Um, it's Monday. Um, there's a bunch of stuff raining out here. I picked up this rock. I thought it looked funny. I thought it was a banner stand, but it's not. But it's awful strange. Um, right on the middle of an Indian site. That might. It look feels packed maybe might be a preform of something like a banner stand but while I was getting that out I flipped a piece of flint I saw down here lower that thing was up there you can see rock up there but I flipped this and it's an end scraper made out of a little uniface on the backside kind of shaped like a foot all worked on that end you can see the cortex of the river pebble real good on that one tan waxy stuff it's like a beige interior tannish lighter tan pretty cool piece it's got a nice little lip on it there you can see well, anyway later all right i'm back this is looking at a cross section of a bank that at least has uh 16 feet of earth on it um and this is how it was left. This is in situ. This is a campfire hearth. Um, you can see here, let's see. Here's a piece of fire rock. It's a big piece. Here's another piece. It's all cracked up. Here's a tiny flake of flint right here. See this all fractured up? Right here's flint. Nope, I don't know where that went. Um, but there's flint flakes all through it. Um, right here's a piece of quartz. A piece of fire rock up here. I don't see any more, but this is where the stuff's coming from. This is a over 9,000 year old layer right here, just as it was left. They were right here. Wow. Five million people on the entire earth. Well, anyway, I'm gonna do some sifting. I've been looking around, but looking for a good spot. I'm gonna go to where I found a bifurcate. Later. All right, I'm back. I got something sticking out right here. A little wash out here. There's a flake of flint up here too, I saw. There's a flake right there, that green stuff, but right here. And it's just a flake. I thought it might be a preform. Anyway, later. All right, I'm back. Um, I got something non-Indian. It's not this. I just want to see what this is. I was standing here looking at it. Well, I found a horseshoe down here. It's a piece off an old wash bowl, probably. But right here, I got a horseshoe. It's washed out of the bank. It's old. Found real old coins here, but I've also found real nice artifacts here. This is the lower end of the place where I found a wing bike for kids. I'm going back up that way and sit, but I'm walking it all first. Got a horseshoe. Um, I find these in this spot a lot. I have maybe 40 of them from here about like is. But anyway, later. All right, I'm back. I just thought I'd film like most of the stuff I find today because I find stuff all day long. Right here we've got, i burn up my case as usual. But right here's another horseshoe. This is a broken one. There's another one. Well, anyway, I'll get back at you later. Um, 
it's Monday. Still, I'm in where I found that bifurcate, but I got two things of interest. Um, I already picked this piece up. Thought it looked funny. I think this is some kind of a net sinker. You can see how it's indented on the side, and it's got some packing there. I think that's what it is. It's some kind of weight. It's nothing to brag about, but it's an artifact. It's got even working in here. Could be Atawato related, I don't know, but you can see it right here from that side. And then it's, might be a preform, but up here, you got a little preform blade out of a river pebble. It's the gray stuff with the beige and ex waxy exterior. It's a little preform for a point, probably a bifurcate. Well, anyway, later. All right, I'm back. Um, I've, it's probably been since I found that net weight in preform, 45 minutes. But I got a nice point, man. Um, right in where I found the wing bifurcate, got another bifurcate serrated Kirk-like thing. Oh, this is looking good. See what I'm in? I'm in a little bit more gravel than what I'd like, but there's busted up fire rock in it and a small amount of flint um but i don't know if you can see this I haven't touched it or nothing and i gotta get some pictures so i guess i'll come back um i'll get down on it here real quick i'm gonna get some pictures of how it was laying in the screen with my real good camera this gopro is decent quality but you can really see the chipping and stuff with the camera so i'll get a picture of it and i'll get back and show you here in a minute later Yeah, this is a pretty nice one. It's like a Kirk stem bifurcated, or it could even be one of them kennel. It's got a little fire pop there, but it's pretty nice. Man, my hands are cold. It frosted last night, and I don't have gloves. I've got them, but they're, they rub my hands. I'm going to have to get some new pair. It's got that beast with thinning strike on it. But anyway, this is getting low. I've only got one bar. I left this on in my bag when I filmed one of them horseshoes hours ago. So I, I, I will try to keep the, sh the clip short from here on out later all right i'm back finally found a beaver dam well it's not really a dam but it's their home see all this stuff this isn't natural this wasn't here a week ago all of this has been pulled in it's all chewed and they're stuffing it in here all along all of this is chewed it's all chewed by beavers and pulled back in here now let's walk up here you can see the trails here. And it's on a big tree that fell and the root system come up, but there's, it made a cavity back in here and they've utilized it. Come up here. You can see the activity through here with, if I've walked through here too, just a few minutes ago. But here, they drug all this driftwood in here. There's all of this digging around here. And there was beaver tracks in it. I've been up here already. You can see here, but right back in here is the hole where they're going in right here. This is it. They're digging all around here. But there you go, a good look at a, a higher river beaver home. You see they've dug this out and they're pushing it up. When I come back, I'll show it again in like a week when I get back to this spot. And uh, we'll see what they've done from today. Later. All right, I got one last find today. I walked right by this, but it's really hard to see. You can see this is like mud, but look right here. I just flipped it. It's not mud. It's a piece of Indian pottery. Um, sure looks like that stuff, but you can tell on the inside. And it's, you know, it's that just crumbles. This is good pottery. It's got some, like, design on it. Well, anyway, later. All right, I'm back home. Um, here's that end scraper, it's kind of a cool one. They left a piece, the smooth piece on there. 
I'd say this wasn't a hafted one, this was a true thumb one. You can see just how they held it, and it's got that little lip. Got this little preform, it's got a piece of the cortex of the river pebble on it, it's the gray stuff. Probably a preform for a bifurcate. But uh, I wanted to show, I found both of these points up here, and here's about these display cases. Um, you can get more information on them in my last video, the one previous to this. And I'll do some more on it. The guy's sending me a bunch of cases, I guess. And I'm going to do a giveaway and whatnot. So if you have a YouTube channel, um, you look for Civil War stuff, Maori Tech, anything that would hold a case like that when they come, I'm going to do a giveaway for people with a channel to house their stuff. We'll see what I get and how it goes. But this place is great. But uh, I found this point not long ago. A um, week ago on video, Little Big Sandy. Two weeks tops. I don't really keep track of days. But it's a real nice little one. And if you go back in my videos, I found another one of these. This one's impacted. But this was 75 yards from this one on the same stretch of river. And it looks like the same guy made them. If not the same guy, maybe a man and his son. He was, they were small groups of hunters. Um, somebody, these are related. In time period, they're just almost exactly alike. Same size, same chipping. Um, you know, here's the point from today. It's real. It's a real nice Kirk. Um, it's real nice. Um, it's a good one. But here you go. Here's some more stuff. I'll get out next time I can. I was gonna melt detect today, but I'm gonna do some other stuff later. All right, I'm back. Um. I'm in front of an old house by a road on a main street. Got this right in here. Flipped right out. It's laying right there. You can see even the end end on it. Um, it's a weedy. Can't see the date, but you can clearly see the back of it there. Um, see if I can't get a date off of it here real quick. Just hold on a second. Um, it looks like 1953. It's a 1953 weedy. Well, anyway.